Hello Flight Simmers, this video is for you. Today I have the Thrustmaster TCA Quadrant Boeing Edition and in this video I will be unboxing it and doing a full review of this one after using it for a couple of weeks now. It has a couple of nice features same as the Airbus Edition. It has the heart and the target software and its feature and also you can customize it in three different variants now here are some more information and other products which are compatible with this quadrant boeing edition like the yoke the rudder pedals now let's quickly open it up and see what do we get inside this box so let's see talking about the packaging packaging is absolutely very very durable in my opinion for this kit and uh, the packaging was very strong now first what do we get is the tc quadrant boeing edition manual a uh, quick guide on how to set this up and the variants which we can use you can use it if you purchase two sets to combine it into a single set so this will be very useful for you do have a look at it once and now moving forward let's check what are the other options do we have in the box so let's go ahead let me pull out this box quickly and uh, the packaging is very strong the outer box might look a bit damaged but uh, from the inside it's completely safe unit as you can see it comes in a tray a cardboard tray but still it's very very strong and safe from inside and uh, from where did i purchase it i purchased it from amazon.india for about 7500 that comes to 75 dollars and uh, British pounds now here is the kit first we get is the USB a to type C cable and yes it uses a type C connector which is very good in my opinion and the product the cable quality is also very good now let's check the other sets that we get inside the box starting with the Thrustmaster quadrant absolutely lovely piece of product it is coming in a nice plastic bag and a very very beautiful quadrant now there are many people who were saying that this is a cheap product compared to the airbus edition but in my opinion it's completely well made and built so i do not feel any way that it is cheap or using low quality material here we go starting with the speed brakes that we have the material is also nice and here is the thrust lever number one it has the reversers included in it and also a auto throttle disconnect button here we go we this is the second set so we get two throttle levers in the reversers included and here is the flap set now if you think honeycomb provides a better build quality no it's the same as this one so let's open it up and check how does it look like let's remove this from the plastic wrap to see its quality in detail and here we go a beautiful piece and a completely new unit for just 75 dollars or 75 british pounds and here is the lovely set now it has three axes as you can see you can use it in sets like two throttle levers and one flap here is the boeing uh, logo or the trademark whatever you can say it has engine one two and three and four switch if you are using two sets and here is the Thrustmaster branding. The build quality as mentioned is completely nice. Please do not go against or with the reviews that say it's a very cheap product. It is not a cheap product. And here we go checking out the throttle levers. Completely nicely built throttle lever in my opinion. It's not cheap and it does not feel like it will break soon. Here is the flap lever. Absolutely gorgeous looking set speed brake. And now we will install it and see how does it look like and I will also show you in X-Plane and Microsoft Flight Simulator. So this is the speed brake and let's install it to see. However, as you can see, we also have the three autopilot control modes, which I will talk about in this video in the later section. Let's also remove the second throttle unit. So as mentioned, either you can use both the throttle levers and one flap or both the throttle levers and one spoiler axis or just a single throttle lever and the spoiler on the left and flap on the right and here is what we were talking about it is the autopilot knob 
here the rotation will work so if you rotate this plug or the potentiometer whatever we call it will reduce increase or decrease the values so let's install the flap first and here we go it takes a bit of force but yes it does get fixed properly and it is not wobbly and also as you can see it does not move the throttle axis base so throttle base does not move if you are moving flap or spoiler or your throttle lever so you can freely use this with your boeing aircrafts and also with airbus set so airbus is difficult to be used in the boeing but boeing can easily be used for piloting the airbus aircrafts and i am using a combination of all the three which means a spoiler on the left throttle lever on the middle and on the right flap axis and uh, by default if you set this in microsoft flight simulator you will get the two throttle levers on the right and left on the uh, left side we have the spoiler in the default setting but i will show you how to customize it and in this section as you can see the base doesn't move however the throttle isn't installed properly yet you will have to reduce or push it down until you uh, until you cannot push it no more so you have to push it a bit more than what you can see in this section of the video now let's check the other things we also have uh, the other throttle which i did not use because i want to use all the three things together in this one now let's move forward in the game and the installation procedure so here is my desktop screen and as you can see as soon as you attach it through the usb cable windows will automatically detect this thrustmaster tca quadrant boeing edition and it will also start setting up the device for you automatically however this is not the final step of this video you should and must install the thrustmaster tm tca drivers which i will show you how to do it but if you check in the devices you will see that it is recognized as thrustmaster quadrant boeing edition in the windows so now i will show you how to install the drivers for this one open up this website i will give you the link in the description box and click on the driver section and you will get two options windows 11 and the other one you can download the windows 10 option after downloading you have to just install it like any other software we have and there's one more thing which thrustmaster has done an awesome job that is the drivers or the buttons assignment pdf file this one now thrustmaster has made a pdf of the default setting in microsoft flight simulator which button is assigned to what function so you can refer to this pdf as well it will offer you a great help if you need to change a couple of settings as per your convenience now let's install this software just keep on clicking the next or finishing button and then it will get installed there's nothing much that you have to do and personally i did not face any issues with calibrating it like mentioned in a couple of other videos but i never had to calibrate it by pressing a couple of buttons on the throttle base and then moving all the three axes to full 100 percent or full zero percent now here we go the software has been installed now we are in the microsoft flight simulator let me show you how the controls are assigned here you can see we have all the access button or access sensitivity which we can see once you change to all assigned you can see all the buttons that are assigned and if you match it with the pdf you will check that everything is correct as per the pdf document in thrustmaster however there are few things that you should change however just to let you know the autopilot button works absolutely fine no need to worry about that just uh, the throttle and the flap you will have to assign it to the flap axis else it will work as the throttle and now it's explained in explain also everything is assigned properly just the autopilot the knob switches will not work properly so the knob rotating knob you can assign to speed up speed increase or speed down option so that you can control the is speed using the rotation knob 
and all the things are assigned correctly but as per the photo given so if you are using a setting like me then you will have to do a couple of tweaks in the settings option now here's a demonstration of my throttle in the boeing 787 in the horizon simulations absolutely working perfectly fine as you can see and uh, now let me show you the spoiler demonstration here we go and uh, just there is no lag in the video if you feel there is there is nothing so in the real world or in the real time which i can see on my monitor there is no delay from the throttle to the action in the monitor so do not worry about this i can assure you that there will be no delays and not just in this boeing but also in the pmdg 737 it works absolutely perfectly fine and now here is the flap so not even in this 787 but also in the 747 and other 737s it works absolutely fine there's no need to worry make sure you assign it as the flap axis in the microsoft flight simulator and uh, you can freely move it and talking about it does not have any markings it is not very difficult to get uh, memory built in your mind about using this and also the sounds make you understand that you have uh, pulled the flap down or up so you will learn it quickly i did not have to do much learning in this thing and everything is working good and now let me show you the rotation knob or the autopilot knobs here is the thing i have the button on heading so heading is moving as i am rotating the knob to the left side the heading is changing to the left now let me move it to the altitude knob and here you can see reducing the altitude below 10,000 so it works very well but yes there the button might feel like it will broke very soon if we keep rotating like this because it's not smooth it's hard and yes you can also control your IAS speed so personally I use it at the IAS or mark variant all the time so I have it set to the IAS and I use it for controlling speed all the time so here is the full review of this item it works perfectly fine in the microsoft flight simulator and even in the x-plane you might have to adjust setting if you plan to use it with all the three axes like me or spoilers throttle and flaps combined so then you will have to change a couple of settings but if you are planning to use it as the default image shown on the box which is on the right and the middle the throttle levers and spoiler on the left then you are good to go out of the box you do not have to change anything so this was the full review of this one i have used it for about a couple of weeks right now in the boeing aircraft in pmdg 737 horizon 787 and also in the zebo 737 in the x plane 12 and in the 747 working title as well it was a great experience thanks to the thrustmaster tca quadrant pro edition that i purchased i am now having a very great time in the simulator flying the boeing aircraft so if you are planning to fly the boeing aircraft and you are planning to get this thrustmaster tca quadrant boeing edition no need to worry and no need to think about anything else you can go ahead and purchase this one if you want to wait for a sale or a good deal you can surely wait but it is a really good piece of hardware that i can easily recommend just to make you sure that this is not any paid promotion video i purchased it for myself and i really want i was so happy with this item that i felt like making a review of this kit so for me it's a very good product i will give it a 4.5 a 9 rating out of 5 a 0 0.1 decimal rating is deducted because of the hard switch of the autopilot the mode changing switch which is between the IAS heading and altitude is very hard and I do not want to break this down in the future so I'm not changing it I leave it at the speed option and control the speed using the rotatory knob other than this it has these five buttons which you can use to control anything by default it has been assigned to break reset rudder trim control the speed bug the heading bug and the level change or altitude bug 
in the Microsoft Flight Simulator, which you can change up to or as per your convenience. However, I just would like to give a suggestion to the Thrustmaster team. Just in case this product would have all the four axes for a little bit of extra price, it would have been a much uh, or more better experience, not only for me, but for all the users because um, we have to lose one throttle or one thrust lever if we are planning to combine the speed brakes and flaps on the kit or on this unit so we cannot use both the throttle levers and the speed brake and the flaps together so this is slightly i would say it does not make me worry or it does not disappoint me on my side i do not feel bad or negative that why they did not include one more access in this set but trust me even with one throttle i am able to control and enjoy the 737 787 and the 747 as well which has four throttle levers but i am able to control and enjoy all the boeing aircrafts with just one throttle lever so nothing much disappointing but if it had one more access to incorporate the second throttle lever for a bit of extra price then it would have been a complete set and it would have been or it would have been more popularized by other youtubers or the flight simmers so the only con i would say that uh, it has but without being a big con or major con but just to put it in the product because every product has it would be the one axis it should have one more access and uh, i wish in future if they are trying to bring a version 2 of this model then they can add one more access and bring it as a complete boeing set which in which we can put both the throttle levers speed brakes on the left and flap on the right and also they can apply the flap numbers but not major thing i would say just one more extra access would be much better so once again concluding this a very good piece of hardware i recommend the thrustmaster quadrant boeing edition you can go ahead and purchase this one and if you are already using it let me know about your experience if you found this video helpful and very useful please do consider giving a like and do subscribe for more such interesting videos in the near future thank you for watching and see you soon in the next one have fun and happy flying